Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this instructional video we saw for the center temperature of a wire conducting 200 amps of current. I hope you find it informative. 200 amps of current is passed through a stainless steel wire. The dimensions and resistivity of the wire are provided. We want to calculate the center temperature of the wire. First let's calculate the electrical resistance of the wire from the resistivity, length, and cross-sectional area. The electrical resistance is 0.126 ohms. Next, let's calculate the heat generated by the current or I squared R losses. This will be a uniform volumetric heat source. The volumetric heat source is 1.051 times 10 to the 8 BTUs per hour foot cubed. The heat conduction equation for radial heat conduction with uniform volumetric heat generation will be integrated twice. Two boundary conditions will be applied to determine the integration constants. The first boundary condition is that the surface temperature is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For the second boundary condition, we utilize a heat balance. The total heat generated in the wire exits radially at the surface, or the radius equals capital R. This heat balance is shown here. Now let's prepare to integrate. Before we do, let's multiply the heat conduction equation by the radius, little r. The chain rule from calculus allows us to simplify the first two terms as shown. This will be the equation we integrate. The first integration with respect to the radius is shown. To determine the integration constant, we solve the equation for the second boundary condition for the temperature gradient and compare it to the resulting equation from the integration of the heat conduction equation. Comparison indicates that C1 must be equal to zero. Now that we know that C1 is equal to zero, let's simplify the equation and integrate again with respect to the radius. The integration results in another integration constant denoted as C2. Now we will use the first boundary condition that the temperature at the outer surface is known and solve for C2. Now we have an equation for the temperature as a function of radius. All that's left is to plug in the necessary values with units and solve for the temperature at radius equal to zero. The calculation with units is shown. The center temperature is 385 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.